Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Let's just see who or what is coming towards you in the month of July. Like what's coming down the pipes. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Brother Collective. Whether it's love, life, spirit, what you have. Let me mix these babies up. June is almost over, right? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is coming towards the collective that they need to be made aware of? Spirit, who is coming towards them in love? That's what we're looking for. Ooh, there's two of cups on the bottom. Maybe somebody's going to be bringing you something, right? Somebody's going to be offering you something. It's going to be looking a little good. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy for the collective, who or what is coming towards them in love spirit? If there's any blockages, please let us see. All right, guys. Who or what is coming towards you? Oh my gosh, Ten of Cups. Love on love on love on love on love. Multiply, right? Ten of Cups. And it was Two of Cups on the bottom when I flipped it. So Spirit says somebody is coming in, and this somebody, they're going to want everything with you, right? They're just going to want it all. Not a little bit, but all of it. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> Six of Swords. You are this person's peace. They're swimming away to come with water. It could be whatever they are currently in. It's just like too much of it, you know? Too much of anything is too much. Too much of anything is too much. This person here, maybe he's been very quiet. Maybe he's not been very expressive. Maybe he's not even telling you how he feels. But in his mind or in her mind, you're their ten of cups. And they bring an ass to you. So, scoot over. <laughs> I think I told y'all another reason. Scoot y'all butt over. Like, what side of bed you sleep on? But somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Do tell, right? So in July, somebody's getting a Ten of Cups. Wow. Somebody's getting a brand new beginning because that's the world card. So it's the ending for a brand new world. Somebody wants to have this brand new world with you. Begin a brand new world with you. A brand new chapter, a brand new story. Start again. Rewind. Let's do this, right? Every situation is different. They don't know how you feel about them. Like, they don't know if you're still burning that midnight oil for them. If you still, if they still turn you on. If you're still inspired by them, right? Or it could be that this person lost passion for a nine of pentacles in reverse. So this person, yeah... Maybe they flame went out for the person that they were with. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. How did this Ten of Cups come out, Spirit? <laughs> Where does Ten of Cups come from, right? Holy Spirit. Let's see. Is that love, baby? Somebody's coming to you. Wow. Ace of Cups on top of Ten of Cups, guys. Can't make it up. Somebody's getting love. This is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Normally in the upright, he, he goes really, really slow. In the reverse, does that mean he's not coming at all? Or does that mean he's coming with the swiftness, right? It, you can take it either way. Because he's in that boat there. So maybe in reverse with this reading, maybe he said, I'm coming in with the quickness this time, right? Instead of slow rolling, slow dragging, you know, riding a donkey instead of a horse. Yeah, this person abandoned a path. So if they are having any hiccups, you know, I'm coming, I can't, I'm coming, I can't. It's because they are walking away from something. They are abandoning something. They want peace in their life. Because this is going away to common waters more peace. And this is like, shit, I'm just fucking done, right? Eight of cups. It's like, I'm fucking done. You can keep all the goddamn cups. I'm not even thirsty anymore, right? That's what that is. <laughs> they can just be moving on for themselves, you know? But either way, 
Somebody's purse is moving on. Yep, they're moving on. They put an ending to this world here that they were in because they got stabbed up. They got treated unfairly, treated unkindly, talked bad. Everybody talked about them. Family talked about them. He said, she said, nobody but mm -mm. Could have been thieves around them. Everything was around this person. So this person, they're being hopeful. They want a brand new beginning as a page of pentacles. They may not have much to offer, but they do have their love, right? They do have their love. King of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse fell out on top of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this is who he pulled his love from. Mm -hmm. So this is your Ten of Cups, right? So Spirit, where is my... I'll use this deck. No, I'll use this deck. Spirit, why is this Ten of Cups? What is this Ten of Cups abandoning, right? Let's get to the, let's find out some truth. Like, why is the Ten of Cups abandoning his current relationship? What is the reason for this exiting, this exit? <laughs> wow. Because he wants a new beginning. That was on the bottom. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the reason? Why is this person leaving, right? You say it was for a new beginning. Eight of Pentacles, whatever it is, this person's working hard. They trying their damnedest to get out that situation. They are. They're in a Knight of Wands energy. They're doing it fast. With the quickness, Spirit says. They're trying to get to you. They're trying to get to this Queen of Cups. That's why they ended what they ended. Because they want you. They want you. Maybe you were in a relationship, freed yourself up, or maybe you're just ready to start dating again. And the minute you say, hey, I'm free, you know, everybody named Mama started coming in. Right? Everybody's been waiting to get a piece of you, you know? People forget you're still the person that everybody wants, right? <laughs> so I guess once they saw that, they said, no, I want my chance too. So this person probably saw that you're free, probably saw that you're single and said, bump it and got out of whatever they was in. But also, they also got stabbed up in whatever they were in as well. So that, that, that helped them leave. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. This person could have cheated on your person because it's the King of Wands in reverse. Like he's not giving up nothing anymore. Like you get to nothing. Or that could be the karmic. You know, trying to prevent this Knight of Wands from going forward. She's saying, no, you can't go anywhere. <laughs> he said, I'll be damned. He said, yes, I am. Ten of Wands in reverse. He said, I'll be damned. You, you're not keeping me here. You're not keeping me down and out. He's dropping all his burden. He said, you can keep these watermelons. He said, you keep these apples, these parts of the pear tree. He said, you can keep it all. <laughs> he said, you can keep the form. You can keep the form as long as I keep my dignity. Knight of Pentacles. He told her, he said, you can keep the form. You can keep the form. <laughs> Empress in reverse. That's who he's leaving, his baby's mom. He's leaving his child's mother for a two of cups. She done been traded in for a two of cups. He wants real love. That's what he wants. And he got the Wheel of Fortune here. This is the next card that came out, right? Here's another confirmation. This is the Eight of Cups again. He is walking away from something, guys. He is walking away. He's walking away and he's leaving her in tears. She is crying. And here's another Eight of Cups here. He left her again here. The Five of Swords. He's walking away. He goes, I'm not going to stand here and fight for something that I don't want anymore. He doesn't want it anymore. This masculine doesn't want to fight for it anymore. And he's waking up. He's waking up, guys. That's the Hermit in reverse. And then here's the last card I'm going to pull this way. It's the Magician. Actually, I can't. 
It's a magician and then four of wands. I can't guys these things. He is manifesting this union. He wants this union. Look. He's manifesting you. He's like almighty Isis. <laughs> Activate, right? He is manifesting you. Because he ended something that was, wasn't fulfilling emotionally. This is nine of cups in reverse. Ten of cups in reverse. He ended it, guys. They could have had children. Could have been a family. Could have been something. But this person ended it. What else is this? Two of swords. Oh, my God. The decision has been made. And then the very last card, guys. I can't make it up. Look, I'm not touching anything. It's that damn fool card again. This person is moving on to new beginnings. Wow. Are y'all ready? Y'all not ready. Look at this. This person is moving on to this. Ten of Pentacles. Happiness. Playfulness. Luxuriousness. You can go eat wherever you want to go eat. You can drink whatever you want to drink. Like you're, you're blissfully happy. Spirit said the tower has already fallen in this connection here. So y'all better get ready. Y'all better get ready. Look, Spirit said you better get ready. This is the three of wands. Your person's coming in in July. You best to get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Spirit said if you're not ready, you better get ready. This partnership's coming in. <laughs> if you're not ready, you better get ready, Spirit. Holy Spirit, holy angels, guys, July, y'all better get ready. Clean your homes. <laughs> Clean your homes. We halfway through the year. Things people need to make. Look, it's the second half of the year, guys, girls. Y'all better get with it. If y'all not getting on this train, then get away from the tracks, right? Let somebody else get in line. Ain't nobody playing no more. Half the year is over. Put up or shut up. Take a shit or get off the pot, right? Men or women. Guys and girls, sir, ma'am, whoever, who's playing these games? Stop trying to keep everybody. You can't have everybody. Make a fucking decision, right? Choose, choose, choose or not. Or back the fuck up, right? Stop talking to these people like you're going to be doing something. This one here seems like he's coming in. Let's see Let's see who this, the energy of this person is, spirit. What is it? Guys, I'm telling you, because this one here was straightforward. If you can't come with a straightforward after six months into the year, Back the hell up, get at the end of the line, and let another motherfucker get in line, right? Stop wasting that person's time. Retreat. Spirit said this is happening. Spirit said this is happening in July. And when it does, the two of you together, you're going to take each other hand in hand, and you're going to back the way. You're just going to back away from everybody. Y'all going to shut down. Y'all going to be in love. Yeah, you're going to be responding to your texts and other people and your emails and stuff. But your free time is going to be with each other. Movie time is going to be with each other. Nap time is going to be with each other. When you get out of work, each other. Weekends, each other. It's going to piss people off. They're going to be like, you want to be each other now? And you know what you're going to say to that? So fucking what? <laughs> right? You're going to be like, it's time that we up each other's ass. Right? Don't let nobody take that joy from you. Spirit said it's happening, guys. It's going to happen in July. It's going to happen in July. Pull out your sundresses. And your tiny shorts, right? Pull them out. Make them happy. Make them giggle. <laughs> Make them giggle. Okay. Spirit. Oh, my God. Somebody, y'all very well may be getting engaged this summer. If you do, can you please tell me? Please tell me. Because people, y'all do be emailing me about your relationships. And I like that. Especially if I had the, 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 the chance to read for you guys. It's like you've been following up with me. And I love that. So it's like confirmation. But it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Guys, you very well may be engaged in July. Mm. Make sure your nails are always on. Look, I got my nails done today, guys. Ooh, maybe it's for me, right? Linga, 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 where's my cowbell, guys? I really need to look up a bell or something so I can have a bell here. Who is this person's spirit? Mm. This is a beautiful reading. This is a beautiful reading. Deception. 
So someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship, guys. And I have a feeling that the person that's wearing a false mask is the one who's not wearing their heart on their sleeve. I don't believe that this person is being deceptive, deceptive. No. I don't believe that. Holy Spirit, let's find out. I got a feeling it's not. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is this deceptive here? Who's wearing a false mask? And why are they wearing a false mask? They're probably wearing a false mask because they want to engage themselves to you. And you don't know that, right? They could have not said anything, but they certainly did hightail up out of the relationship. Once they found out that your ass was free, they said, oh, she free? High priest is in reverse. Okay. What you don't know is that they probably leaving somebody for you. For you. Yep. And they have no regrets about it. Five of cups in reverse. That's the deception. The deception is you don't know that they are leaving someone for you. Yep. Devilish energy in reverse. The person that's coming towards you is leaving someone for you, period, point blank. Spirit said it. Yep. They are leaving someone for you. Guys, that had everything to do with that damn U-Haul. Remember, I think I pulled that U-Haul twice. Yep, this person is sneaking away. They're either sneaking away or sneaking into your life. Because that's a deception. They're going to sneak into your life. They're not going to tell you this. They're leaving somebody for you. And the other deception is they want to engage themselves to you. Lies like no others. But they're good lies. <laughs> I don't like the fact that they're sneaking away from somebody. Or the fact that you don't know that they have someone. Because that could be an issue right there. Because that's starting off as a lie. Especially if you get with this person. And then say you get a call from that girl. Or that woman or that man and you're like hey you know why are you mess with my person you be like well, what are you talking about I'm like who and they'd be like craig and he's like craig me and craig been together for three years or whatever it is right we've been talking for two years we've been talking for a year they can be like well me and craig we've been engaged for four you're gonna be like boom 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 right so you don't want to be embarrassed you don't want pie face so craig daphne come on now Come on now. <laughs> Don't be having us look stupid. This person's waking up. They waking up to how they feel about you. Yep. They coming in hot. This is the emperor. This person wants you. Period. Amen. Because you are their wish fulfillment. <laughs> Period. Amen. You are their wish fulfillment. They juggled you at one point, though. Two of Pentacles. Maybe they just had a little decision to make. And they realized that you were the Nine of Cups. They said, juggle no more, right? He said, no, no, no. She fulfills me in all ways. He fulfills me in all ways. And then some, right? So, uh, juggle no more. Unsure no more. All right, guys. Let's check into their heart space. We already kind of see it. They already see they want to engage themselves to you. They definitely want to take you off the market. They like, look, I'm taking you off the market right now. And then y'all going down to Lollyville. That's just Happyville, right? Lolly, 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 lolly. <laughs> You're going down to Lollyville. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I hate when my cards get messed up. It's like it's disrespectful to spirit, right? <laughs> Me and my OCD. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Guys, I took a nap. I did. I fell asleep again and then I woke up. Woke up, took a shower, and came in here, right? And I took my brace off to let my arm breathe a little bit. And to, I just got to make sure I don't bump it. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What's going on? How are they feeling in their heart? Yep. This person is releasing. They are releasing and letting God. They're releasing anything that they can't control. They're releasing the issues of that person that they're dealing with. They are releasing. They're releasing to come to you. This is their base chakra. And they are grounded. And they know exactly what they're doing. They're doing it their way. Wow. They're going to confront their inner child. They're going to confront themselves. They're going to speak. And they're going to say. 
what they want, what they don't want. They're going to confront these other people and they're going to confront you. They're going to tell you how they feel. They're going to spill their heart. In July, there's going to be some challenging times ahead. Maybe they feel it's going to be some challenging times. But their heart chakra, when it comes to you, it's wide open. It's wide open, Spirit says. And on the bottom, it's just awaiting results, guys. So maybe this person is going to ask you to love them. What's on top? They're going to take the lead, guys. This person's coming. And when they do come, they're just going to ask for you to just listen and just hear me out. Let me explain myself. Listen, Linda. Just hear me out and then just rest and reconsider, right? Just rest and reconsider. This person's coming. One more from the love spirit. One more, one more, one more, one more spirit. It is safe for you to love this person, guys. Spirits that open your heart to give and receive. Codependency, addictions, you know, are, are offering or are, are affecting your romantic love life. Whatever. Maybe you're addicted to fear. Maybe y'all addicted to something. Y'all need to figure that shit out. I don't know what it is. I can't do it in 78 cards. Y'all need to figure that out. I figured out all the rest yet. <laughs> y'all figure that part out. I'll look up the codependency tomorrow. All right, however, your religious factors, your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. So, maybe you two got something in common. Maybe you watch tarot, maybe you do tarot. Maybe you're more spiritual than you are religious. Maybe you don't go to church, but you pray. Maybe you read the Bible, but you're not like in the institution saying, oh, you can't wear pants. You got to wear dresses. Got to wear your hair wrapped up. Da -da -da -da. Maybe you just read your Bible at home. Da -da -da. Do you. Maybe you found out that your person do them. Maybe you are accepting of all other religions. You know, because some people be like, I can't think of like, I can't do it. Thank you. Thank you. Judge not. And then shut the fuck up, right? That's me being judging, but hey. Judgy, 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 judgy. Whatever, girl. Slap you. <laughs> Whatever. Let people be. So whatever it is in regards to your religious factors, your spiritual upbringing, your spiritual path, what you're currently on right now, maybe you both went through something. Maybe you both are healing right? Maybe you both meditate. Maybe you both do yoga. Whatever it is, you got something in common. We got something in common. Who used to sing that? Was that Whitney? Spirit said, just love yourself first and the rest will come. So maybe your person is learning how to love themselves. They got themselves about it something. You're going to do the same. Spirit said, y'all got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, guys. Mm. And there we have it. I don't even know what to title it, but by the time I upload it, I'll have a name. The good good is coming towards you in July, okay? Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Peace.